Chris Payne here from Payne Outdoors. Today we are checking out a couple of new baits from BioBait, a company that we did a review on one of their fluke style baits uh, on the blog. It's a written out review. Today we're going to do a couple of video reviews to cover the ins and the outs, what we like, what could possibly improve in the future, and we're going to do all of that from right here at Tightlines Premium Fishing Tackle in Killeen. So Tightlines is my home tackle store. It's where I come to see all the new stuff, to restock the tackle box, get all the things I need. If I'm gonna fish a tournament or fish an event, whatever I'm doing when I need to restock, this is my first stop. First, the Stinko from BioBait. So this is a five inch stick bait. This is the green pumpkin color. And it, like all the other baits from BioBait, are 99% more biodegradable than all the other baits that are out there. And they're infused with fish oil. It's in the plastic. It's not just on here and gets all over your hands. Like it's, it's actually in the plastic. So you can feel it. It's gonna stay uh, wet with that oil feel. Um, throughout the entire life of the bait. It's not gonna dry out in your boat, it's not gonna dry out in your kayak, um, so it's gonna stay like that. What that also helps with is your scent. So your fish are always gonna have that scent. You don't have to carry around a can and you know hit it with spray before every cast, every third cast, every fifth cast. This is ready to fish. So let's talk about the goods. So this is a very durable stick bait. As you can see, I can pull it and it stretches really well. So what does that help with? Well, for those of you guys who like to wacky rig and putting pressure on the center of this bait with an O-ring and then, and then the hook, that is gonna mean this bait is a lot more durable than some of the others that are out there. The ones that use sand or use uh, you know, less dense plastic, they're gonna tear easy. That is a, that's a pretty durable bait. It's gonna stretch really well. The nose of this bait, it narrows just a little bit. And what that does is when the water comes up the bait profile. Let's see if I can get this organized here. So as the water comes up and it gets a little bit wider, that's gonna cause it to push the tail of this bait left and right. So when you're bringing it through the water, it's not just gonna come through like a straight stick. What it's gonna do is it's gonna kick that tail out a little bit and give you kind of a, a snaking darting motion, which is really cool. So if you fish one of these weightless, it's gonna, it's gonna do awesome for you because it's just gonna continually move and dart like, like a bait fish would. So let's talk about room for improvement. So on this bait, with that narrowed head, again, you're gonna wanna avoid a screw lock. I'm gonna recommend an offset hook. Um, Owner makes one, Mustad makes one, um, Gamakatsu makes one. There are lots of offset hooks out there that you can use with this. Um, also, with that narrow head, don't use a thick wire hook. Use uh, one of the thinner wires uh, so that you're going to have less tearing along the nose. This is a three and three quarter inch swim bait from BioBaits. So I tried it in the Shimmer Shad color, and let me give you a closer up look at that. So it's got some really good color on it. So the good stuff about this bait, like all the bio baits, it is infused with the fish oil in it. And so this bait is not going to dry out. It's going to stay uh, oily uh, for the lack of a better term. It swims through the water really well. If you are uh, fishing it weightless, it'll stay uh, below the top of the water unless you're just burning it, which is good because with a lot of swim baits that I've found, uh, the paddle tail is not balanced on it enough 
and so it, it pulls a bunch of water and the bait will come up and kind of flop. But this bait doesn't do that. The tail is balanced with the body and so it comes through the water at a nice lateral movement. It doesn't tip down or tip up uh, when it's weightless. So the bait is actually balanced really well. It's got a nice hook groove on the top up here and on the bottom. So the hook stays, for the most part, his bait's actually very durable. Um, it, it's got a great stretch factor to it, uh, which means when those fish are hitting it, destroying it, you know, trying to eat it, it's not going to tear near as easy. Uh, I had a great hookup ratio with it. I think it's, it's built well. You can throw it weightless. You can throw it belly hooked if you need it to sink deeper. Um, but this, this is a great summertime bait, a little bit smaller profile, good vibration. Uh, it comes in a lot of good colors and it, it worked really well for me. So the things you need to know about it, things for improvement. Now, this swim bait is a little different than a lot of other swim baits that you're going to deal with because of the nose of the bait. So if you can see that, the head of this bait is, is more narrow than a lot of others. So if you're used to fishing screw lock uh, baits, so uh, fishing a belly weighted uh, hook that has a screw lock in it, you're going to want to downsize that screw lock or not use one at all and go to just an offset hook. Um, I tried a screw lock in this bait and it it's so big it, it pretty much filled up the entire nose cavity of it which means it's easier for the fish to tear off. So you don't want to completely infiltrate the entire head of the bait. So what I would recommend is smaller screw lock or go away from the screw lock altogether. Other than that, I mean, the bait works really well. Of course, I'd love to see additional colors, uh, which I think will come with time. This is a fairly new bait company. There is uh, some talk about the price point. I'm not sure if it's going to stay at the $7.99 or not. I'm hoping that it will come down a little bit to be a little more market competitive. Uh, plus, that also helps my pocketbook because I really like to fish these guys. At 8 bucks a pack, I, I, I don't know. Um, but if they were able to come off of that a little bit and be a little more in line with some of the other major soft bait makers, I think, I think you'd have a really, really good bait to go to. Um, so that is the three and three quarter inch swim bait from BioBait. <laughs>